the hadith says one of the first things that you are going to be you know questioned about your salah yes indeed and then your money where did you earn where did you spend etc where is it where is all this sustenance we gave you it's something you're going to leave behind in the dunya may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from materialism don't rush behind that i tried i want to give you a small example uh when you get too attached to something and it is coming between you and allah and your heart is beginning to love it so much that it's now getting between you and Allah. You know what? Cut it. Cut it. And I'm sorry to say one thing. You know, the brothers, we are equally guilty. But with the sisters, look. Everyone wants to look good. Mashallah. Mashallah, you may want to, you know, put your little eyeliner here and there. Look a little bit decent. Perhaps a little bit of a touch-up if you'd like here and there. But, but, never choose your makeup over Allah. Never choose your makeup over Allah. I receive so many questions of people say, how can I make wudu when the value of the Mac that I used on my face is almost a hundred US dollars. I'm sure Allah will allow me to read my Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha late at night. Wallahi, I'm only mentioning this because we receive these questions. So that sister should put the bottle of Mac in front of her and whatever other little fancies you have, put it there and repeat in the mirror. You are more important than Salah. Repeat it 10 times. Wallahi, that's what we are doing. But we are not speaking about it in front of the mirror. Wallahi, we are doing that. So I respect those who don't waste so much money on that which is the pressure of the world, be yourself. Islam teaches you to love what Allah has made you with, to love your appearance, to love what Allah has given you. You don't need to hide your identity so much. Like I said, you want to look good a little bit here and there is okay, but so much that you start thinking, subhanAllah, we give up Allah because I just want to show my behind. You know, Allah has given me a behind of a good size. A'udhu Billah. So I need to show the men. Imagine. Imagine. And what we've done, we've given it. We, th we want the pleasure of Allah that we're talking about. And we say, but you know, I have a problem. What's the problem? Ah, this, but you can't even change your dress for Allah. You can't even make that two inches more. Two inches on either side would have been the most perfect outfit, but you needed it such that you had to show Allahu Akbar. Why? Why? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I hope I've worded it in a way that can convince us just to be better people by the way. And we're not judging anyone. It's only a, a means of encouragement. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.